Hello everyone and welcome back to Zero Escape 999 where last episode we learned a lot about the Titanic and the number nine. So much so. So much information. I don't know how accurate it all was. But I'm, I'm willing to trust most of it. Okay. So. Hey Junpei, that tile you got. You think maybe you're supposed to put it in one of those empty spaces? I mean the pattern does kind of look the same, doesn't it? He's right. I think so too, but if that's the case, you're going to need to collect all three tiles, right? Don't you think we should collect all of them before you start putting them in? So no. we're missing one. I think I should start randomly t pressing things. Okay. Can we steal one from the other? Oh, yeah, let's go to- okay. What's up? You're going back already. Well, I can't just leave June there by herself. What, you think you're a knight or a protector or something? You're creeping me out. You're creeping me out. <sighs> Whatever, man. Going. Alright, so can you look at that photo picture thing? Eh. I get it. Yes, yes. It's you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot they just don't just talk. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Also, their names are too similar. Yeah. Some sort of weird black and white design. It looks like there's some room. There's a room on the right side of this picture, which doesn't mean anything. Okay. Um, hmm. Nothing in the display case. Drawers are empty, too. Did we look anywhere in the other room? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Curtain? There's one in here. The shower curtain, huh? Let's try closing it. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain in all its waterproof glory. There's nothing. Does the other bathroom have anything? I'm one thinking. S suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. Narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. Oh, get your minds out of the gutter right now. My God. Or, you know, just there's a bed in the other room. Just let's just get it out of the way and then we can move on. I think is the natural order of things. This is awkward. Time to open the curtain. All right. I suggest we going back. Go back and use the shower curtain. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'd like to leave. Yeah, moving around the rooms is is a little awkward. I'm gonna go check up on them. Yeah, we already. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So then. Can you hang the curtain up. There's a curtain rod along the ceiling. Let's put that shower curtain on those hooks. Okay. Let's try spreading the curtains. Pull on this one. Wow, that's pretty obvious, people. Somebody's really dedicated. Oh, with the hole this big, you gotta wonder if maybe they wanted to be caught. So you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit. Maybe they were into, like, those home invasion fantasies? The home invasion, interesting, I see. You two are real idiots, you know that? What was the point of that? Uh, yeah. Can you look through the hole? Yeah, well, all right, so what do we see if we look through the nothing? Nothing. How is that? How is that not a thing? Feels like it should be a thing. Oh, oh, okay. What is that? That spot. There's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from a ways back, I can see a single tile. All right, from here I can see what tile it is. Looks like it's fifth, fifth from the top and third from the right. Okay. Fifth from the top and third from the right. All right, go back and click. Wait, where are Wait, you going? Oh, not, that's not what I meant to do.
Third from the right, fifth from the top. This should be this one. All right, looking through this hole, I can see a white tile, fifth from the top and third from the right. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Hmm, nothing strange here. Nope, thing's not budging. Ah, hmm, well, then that means I got it. Guys, we'll be, uh, we'll be right back. Junpei, we miss her so much. Why don't you have to keep coming back here? Psh. No, that's not what this is. I'm just being like a bridge between the two rooms. Uh-huh. You just keep telling yourself that. Now get out of here and go help June. Fine, but I'm going to solve this all by myself and you guys aren't going to get any of the credit. In the yep. bathroom in Lotus's room, I saw a particular tile when I looked through the hole in the shower curtain. Yep. Maybe if I look in the same place over here. All right. Now, where was it? Fifth from the top, third one from the right. Yeah. What are you mumbling about, Jumpy? Oh, sorry. Uh, could you be quiet for a minute? I don't want to forget this. I didn't know that feeling. Yeah, if I, I, I would be sitting there like the entire way back, like fifth from the top, third from the right, fifth from the top, third from the right. Otherwise, it'd be over. Here it is. Yes, this one's loose. I think I can get under this with my nails and yes. It's a picture. There we go. That's you. Yeah. Who would have thought this would have been hidden in the bathroom, huh? I thought it said June pie. <laughs> you did a good job finding it. The one side is designed like the rest of the bathroom tiles, and the other side has the black and white design. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere before. All right. So we gotta start piecing these together. Oh. All right, take a take one last look. Cause I'm I'm guessing it's supposed to match this. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, just trying to get. Mental image. The middle has a weird little cross in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right. Start putting. There's a tile in the frame, so I guess I'm supposed to put the tiles in the empty spaces. All right, I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh, I don't get to. There you go. You're oh not... my god! god it's gonna what? Be one of those stupid puzzles. Oh, okay, so I can swap them. All right, so I think this one needs to swap. Yep. And then... That... I, the bottom looks right. Yeah. Um... Oh, God, you can turn them? Yeah. Oh, frig. Okay, that's all, that's all right, that's all right. Um, flip them? I think yeah, this one's this one's right, so let's... let's I flip. think flip those, too. Leave it. Shit. Oh, wait. Leave like it that? like that. Now flip the other one. Flip. Flip. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah, I had like this one. I, I remember pretty distinctly the top right one. Yeah, I remembered a little bit the top left one. Forget it. <laughs> yes, I did it. There, picture complete. And there goes the frame. What's this? What do you, oh, that's you. <laughs> what do you mean? What's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? There's a hole in the wall, like a hidden safe or something, you know? And anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Is it a key? Oh yeah, it looks like a key. Yeah, yep, Mars, Mars key. key. Ah, okay, so we can open that door. All right. What's the deal with this picture anyway? Creepy. I, I think I've seen this picture before. Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. What is morphic Man, resonance? I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you serious?
telepathy. Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? Yep. I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no <laughs> scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. All but right. even so, I... Um, why, bring, why bring it up if you... Right. Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? It looks I, like... I guess it looks like... Man's face, a butterfly, a koi, a dog, a small boat floating in a lake. Whatever that bottom one is, I don't know what it is. I don't know that it, I want to, I kind of want to go that one. Okay. Because it's funny. Unless you've had... No, uh, nope. I don't see any of those things. I could kind of I see a butterfly, maybe. All right, let's go with this. Uh, 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 Funya Rinpa. See, I, I mean, this totally looks like one right here and here. What the hell is a Funya Rinpa? What, what, what do you mean? What the hell is a Funya Rinpa? <laughs> you mean, you, you don't know? <laughs> How the hell would I know? How could you not know? That's, whew, that's practically blasphemous. <laughs> oh, oh, say you're sorry. Did he make this Apologize up? Apologize <laughs> to the Funya Rinpa. Goodness, you are oh such a- Oh my rude. God. All right. Junpei, are you just screwing around? Yes. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just going to tell you. This is a dog. See? Like this. Oh. Um. I mean. So... I still don't see it. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. Uh -huh. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. Uh -huh. They were, however, given the, same, test have to do with the same two pictures. The results were startling. They recognized the dog one the more? 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a the change dog will be statistically. High. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. That doesn't seem like a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you mm. realize the significance of this experiment? There no. was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But mm -hmm. even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? A field not visible to the eye. 
So if more people know the answer, <sighs> I, I get what they're getting at. Then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Aren't we under a death clock? <laughs> well. Hmm. Psych. <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. We just went well, through a five-minute I mean, explanation, just told and you it was wrong. Truth. They really did happen. Uh -huh. well. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Can we move on now? Right. <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I, uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> I think she's lying. <laughs> I think she is too. All right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. I mean, out of everyone we have, she's the person I trust the least. Agreed. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. Oh, it's in, it's, it's in brackets. It's going to be important. <laughs> okay. You need it for the class trial. All right. Let's get to the, let's go to the hallway. I'll go get June. You guys head to the door. Okay. Roger. Oh, Roger that. Okay. So. Yes, it unlocked. Good job, Doombie. Good. Now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Are we gonna meet? Come on, Jumpy, let's go. All right, let's go. As I'm gonna, curious are if we're- Are we gonna meet up? Or do we have another puzzle? You found it. I feel like they're simultaneously congratulating us and oh, patronizing hallway. us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on, open! It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Damn it. This is a good try. Look over here. <laughs> Elevators and the buttons. Uh, of course they don't work. The power must be out here too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. All right, here I go. Kitchen? Oh, so it's a kitchen. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? Death? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. All if right. we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Hmm. Oh, but don't we need a key for that? No good. Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. We need to stop jiggling handles that have little <laughs> boxes next to it with red on it. <laughs> well, okay. Here. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Devil's advocate. It would be stupid not to at least I check know. to see if it's open. I know. But what we really should stop doing is trying to like slam ourselves into the door. True. <laughs> true. True. Okay. Hey. What's that? Huh? Oh yeah. He found uh, a map. I guess I forgot to tell you. We found a map. You can't have it. I found it. this a little while ago. It's ours. It's a map. Ooh, of you got defensive. Let me see that. No. Oh, God. This is where it starts. I don't trust her. See? Look. Yes, yes. Hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. See? We came in here. Now, if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. Okay. How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. There we go. Here, you can have it back. Okay. Oh, so we got back. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. Okay. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? Ooh, another puzzle. That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Puzzle time! Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. This always creeps me out. Yeah. I keep expecting like an axe murder to come out through the wall. All right, we will find a way out. All 
sorry. Okay, kitchen. So kitchen. All right. Uh, okay. I think I think oh. I got it. Okay. Okay. Get the plates at them. A oh. voucher. It says appetizer nine, meat dish ten, sea soup A, seafood dish F. Oh, we're probably gonna. Do we write that down? Not yet. We'll see what happens. This looks like a serving table. I would imagine food is put here after it's prepared so that the waiters and waitresses can take it out to the customers. But something doesn't seem right here. Why are there so many plates? Well, all right. So if this is a cruise ship, that actually makes sense. Okay. There's nine plates. Those nine plates look pretty expensive. They're plates for appetizers. Oh, so it has to equal the... Uh, the thing written down, the plates, I bet you, are going to equal what was written down. Oh, okay. The plates for appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. I didn't know that. It makes sense, sure. <gasps> well, excuse me, princess. Fantastic. I'm so happy I got to do that. <laughs> I'm so happy you got to do it, too. All right. Next plate. There's One, two, three. There's ten of them. If you flip these over they look like hats <laughs> the middle is super deep for a plate they're soup plates they're made that way so that the soup doesn't spill if we ever get out of here you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out what makes you think a poor college student has the money to do something like that all right sorry we're a college student okay um okay so what's the next one i think there are 15 of these plates I'm assuming they're for seafood. Oh, okay. How the hell can you tell that? They look like any other plate from the 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. I feel sorry for June. What? 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 Why the hell are you bringing up June? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. You're not terribly subtle. Well, next one. You know, oh, oh. a partition. There's nothing special about it. I know. That's why we wanted to click on the plates. Yeah, there's a bunch of little wavy ridges on this plate. I'm sure the princess will tell us all about it. Those plates are for serving meat. Is that better? <laughs> uh, you really are ignorant, aren't you? Um, oh, it's you. <laughs> Come on. It's not like I need to know this crap. Jeez. How okay. will you ever put a, out a fancy dinner if you don't know what these plates are? It's My true. God. I know. Ooh, I'm so yeah. uncultured and... I don't know what these, this means. Wow. This pot looks like it's made out of silver. I bet drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. Spending a day off with June drinking tea. Could such a day ever happen for me? Jumpy? Oh, nothing. We don't really need hot water, so we should be moving on. It's a lot of notes. They got a bunch of stuff written on them, but it doesn't look like a code or anything like that. Oh, wait, what did I? Oh, that was me. Never mind. Dis disregard. Okay. okay. Um, um, oh, ooh. okay. It, this, this shelf has a white cloth on it. All right. We don't want to take the white cloth off. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. Aha. Ooh. Um, Ooh, a butcher knife. I don't... No. No. Close that back up. There's a knife in this box. Take it. All right. A rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Futile? You know, a waste. Useless. Pointless. Oh. Um, well... Uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Why is it in bold? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? I just want to know where these thoughts come to people. <laughs> we're looking around for a key card so we don't die, but I'm going to give you a 35-minute lecture on futility. Okay, yep. got it. The futility of the Titanic, specifically. Right. <laughs> Anyways. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Because of the mummy? Because of the mummy. No, I haven't. Please, tell me more. No, I, we're, we're I haven't. In, we're entranced by your beauty in 1892, and your voice. 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. It was called Futility. Uh -huh. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. 
The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and sinking. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship, its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. It was almost as if he'd seen the whole thing happen. But this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Hmm. You don't but say. But that's not all. It wasn't just futility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Okay. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. He really should branch out and write different stories. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. That was kind of my first thought. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But what if Stead had some sort of special powers? To be more specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you... What is automatic talking writing? about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing. Yes. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. <laughs> All right, Jun Junpei, you, you either got to commit to the bit. But Jumpy, you said you believe in curses. Yeah. Oh. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if I- Oop. Is there a way to- Who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was course. doing the possessing. What are you smoking? William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... Oh my god, this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. Yeah, agree. We do, we seem to get all like a little off topic, and I'm... I'm Curious kind of to see the, what they have that they have to mean something. Yeah, like I have a feeling it's not just like random stuff that they're throwing yeah. at you. So I'm I'm waiting to see what the what this builds to. There's so much stuff in here, a whole lot of cans. This is probably a pantry. I mean, it is literally that cheese? is. <gasps> oh my I'll god! Look at cheese. all the cheese. I right, need to move that one. Hey, there's something behind the cheese. You're right. Why don't we move some of the cheese? All right, guys, time to move it. June and I need to look behind you. Ooh, what the? What is that? There's a little green bottle back there. Okay, can I have it? Bottle of oil. All right. Okay. Anything else? There are a number of cheeses lined up on the shelf. This is Gouda cheese. Mmm, most famous Dutch cheese. If you don't cut open the casing, it usually won't go bad. Hmm. So you can store it at room temperature for quite a while. So the cheese might be edible? So we can eat this. Most likely. Uh, I'm not hungry at all. I guess it's hard to get hungry in a situation like this. Okay. There's milk in here. Oh, that is definitely not good. Milk in an iron barrel. Judging by the rust, it's probably really old. Maybe we shouldn't open it up. I don't think it'd be a pretty sight. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, looks like some kind of large tin container. Well, it's empty. Okay. Okay, okay that's that. uh, not gonna not gonna help us out. All right, what else we got here? Um, turn. I don't think you can go through there. All right. Ooh. See? Uh, 
sink. I've got a sink. Okay, what's what's this? Oh, what's whetstone. Stone? So you can probably oh. sharpen the knife. Maybe I'll use the whetstone to sharpen the knife. That's very convenient. I just love that he's sitting here sharpening his butcher knife in front of everyone. Right? Yeah, I can't imagine this ending well. The blade of the knife is getting sharper by the second. I should be able to cut something pretty good with this. Uh, can we slice open the um, cheese? Get ourselves a snack? Ooh. Sink. <laughs> Still got water in it. There's a couple plates in here, but I don't think they're going to help us much. Sink with water in it. There's a couple of plates in the water. Okay. On that one. Yep, mm -hmm. looks like we can't. Plates in the water. Yep, I, nope, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh huh. Maybe this table's pre for preparing food. There are plates everywhere. Okay. Okay. Trash can. There's nothing inside of it. Well, better than being full of rotten food, I suppose. Fair. Damn it, there's nothing in here. Hey Santa, digging through the trash really suits you. What the hell did you say? Listen lady, I did you a favor. I knew you'd just piss and moan, so I did it for you. Oh my, I don't recall asking you to do anything. <laughs> I gotta throttle you. Excuse me then? Does, does it feel colder in here? Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, all right, now let's let's finish. Oh, a countertop. There's a rolling pin and colander in here. Nothing useful. Okay. Can you open the drawers? Oh. All right, it's going. Do you think this is all part of Zero's plan? Probably. Kind of hard to believe there's a chef on board somewhere. I wonder what this drawer is. You see the metal grate on top of the grill? They make it like that so when the fat and juices can drip off the meat while it cooks. Oh. Looks like the area under the plate opens up. No, you can't. I already checked. It's sealed shut. I think that's where the coal goes. Okay. don't see anything else so i think we're gonna have to wrap up this escape in the next episode uh i was having a good time it's definitely uh weird i guess yeah, but, uh, but I think it's, interesting. it's like fun weird it's fun weird i like uh, it I it like has fun the weird. same quirky ishness of like dog and rumpa games oh yeah, for sure you have the horror aspect but also like the comic ridiculousness and um the mystery yeah, and I think so far, like, the uh, like the cast, mm -hmm. I I really enjoy the cast. I like, do too. I think that that's been really strong. So, uh, let us know what you guys have been thinking of this yeah. uh, in the in the comments. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. And uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>